Neighbors reclaimed their community from drug dealers. That was the message from Sheriff TK Waters following an investigation that sent nine people to jail. It began with a tip that was received during a neighborhood sheriff's watch meeting in Jacksonville. The tip led police to two homes that have been identified as drug houses. One on Malden Lane in the Duclay neighborhood. The other is on Fire Tower Road near 103rd Street on Jacksonville's west side. News for Jack supporter Eric Avenier explains. Sheriff's office. Ready? Yep. Police body cam video and cell phone pictures from neighbors recorded the moment when a JSO tactical unit served a search warrant at this home on Malden Lane. It was part of a narcotics investigation. This home on Fire Tower Road was also raided in connection to the same investigation. And body cam video showing one of the nine suspects taken into custody during the investigation. All nine of these people are facing felony drug charges after the raids led to the discovery of trafficking amounts of fentanyl, crystal meth, and hydrocodone. They also seized a significant quantity of cocaine and six firearms. A forensic examination of one of the guns revealed it had been used in violent crimes. The 9mm Glock matched casings that were collected at a February attempted murder scene where someone was shot. It also matched a shooting that same month into a home where several, several adults and children were inside. And Thankfully, fortunately, no one was hurt during that incident. Jacksonville police say the arrest and seizures of evidence started from a tip they received at a neighborhood sheriff's watch meeting. The sheriff's watch program is a program in which citizens and police partner together to address neighborhood concerns and neighborhood specific public safety issues. Community members and police officers meet regularly in neighborhoods all over Jacksonville. After we received this tip, narcotics detectives started an undercover investigation in the area. Scott Knight says the suspected drug activity at this home has been an ongoing problem. The cars come and go all night long, one after another, after another, after another. We told him a tip at a sheriff's watch meeting led to the raid on this home. And yes, I know them people. Uh, How proud are you of them for coming forward? Very proud. Ray Walker is a 22-year member of the Sheriff's Watch program. She says ridding her neighborhood of illegal drug activity is a priority. When you have that in your community, you know, there's always the threat of violence associated with drugs. So I'm assuming you guys are really just relieved, like you said, just to get that out of there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's one of those where you hear it and you see it and you report it. And then it's a matter of hurry up and wait because they can't process everything overnight. But not every neighbor is convinced the tip to police did enough to stop drug activity from reoccurring at this home. This is not much of a relief. It, it hasn't really changed anything. There's still traffic going in and out of there. So, Neighbors say police had been to this home multiple times to investigate suspected illegal drug activity. A man who lives here who didn't want to be identified says that he was in the home during the last raid. All I heard was a, a loud bang and I could hear yelling outside. I, I kind of got a feeling of what was going on when I came out and I seen Tommy sitting there. I, I knew something bad was fixing to happen. That same man was not arrested during this raid, but admits he was arrested during a previous raid on this home a few months ago. He says he was already aware of the numerous complaints and tips that led police to his front door. Eric Avenier, Channel 4, the local station. The Sheriff Watch program has different levels. There's one for neighborhoods, one for apartments, one for people who live along the river, and opportunities for you to participate in monthly meetings in your area of town. If you'd like more information on how to get involved, we put a QR code on your screen. It's there right now. Just open your camera on your phone, scan it, and it'll take you to the information.